absolutes, yes, yes and no. It's like binary, on and off, you know, black or white. My name is Owen Coveney. I'm a freelance illustrator. I have been for about 16 years now. My number one thing was always to draw comics. As a kid, I adored 2008 and a lot of European comics as well. At the beginning, all comics were black and white because just of necessity, because colour reproduction was very, very expensive indeed. So for economy, um, simple black and white line was decided upon also because printing technology, even for black and white, wasn't able to pick out an awful lot of fine details. Obviously, we all look around, we see everything in colour, so black and white does take a bit of a mental leap, I suppose. You have to look in, in terms of contrasts, light and shadow, obviously. But how you, how you use those blocks of, of solid black and balance them with the areas of white. My first thoughts were, you know, I suppose magpies, penguins, that kind of thing, and piano keys, maybe slightly more obvious ones, but I was trying to think, in terms of light and shadow, that, that got me thinking. I thought, okay, well, what's the ultimate light? That's the sun. And what does light cast shadows? So how am I going to try and find something that works? First I thought of maybe a staircase and the sun shining on top of it or something, but then I thought, well the ultimate light and, sh light and shade, the most cosmic, the most elemental thing that I can think of is an eclipse, because that's absolute light and absolute shadow coming together and creating something unique and spectacular, so I thought that was a pretty neat symbol for black and white, I thought. Mm -hmm. 